Old Jake got to see the new Hell House Origins movie a bit early. I'm hyped to get into a spoiler-free review of this for you guys, so let's just get right on into it. Well, sometimes that is better. I real quickly wanted to shout out my buddy Eric who helped me see this one early. Thank you so much to him and go check out his YouTube channel, Smells Like Teen Horror. He also runs a pretty sweet podcast called Something Something Podcast. Your boy even did an episode with him. So make sure to check out all of Eric's stuff. The link for that is in the description below. Now let's talk a little bit about the film. Hell House LLC Origins The Carmichael Manor is a prequel film to Hell House LLC from 2015. The plot synopsis for the film reads, a group of cold case investigators stay at the Carmichael Manor, site of the grisly and un solved murder of the Carmichael family back in the 80s. After four nights, the group was never heard from again. What is discovered on their footage is even more disturbing than anything found on the Hell House tapes. Is it more disturbing than the Hell House tapes? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. I really enjoyed this one. I feel like it's a bit of a step up from the previous two sequels that I personally just wasn't crazy about. As a huge fan of the original Hell House, though, I feel like this one kind of gets back to what makes that original film so good. It gets a little more simple, but there's still things about it that I feel overcomplicated. One of the things that I'm just not crazy about with all of those sequels is that they all focus on this documentary style horror. Now that's very much so present in the original Hell House, but not as much. Like you're mostly following this found footage story throughout, which is really cool. But in the sequels, it turns into basically a true crime documentary about something that didn't actually happen. I'm just not crazy about found footage horror meeting true crime documentary style filmmaking. Like I think a lot of people really enjoy movies like Megan is Missing or uh, Lake Mungo, for instance. They're just not for me. I feel like they kill the tension every time something is set up. You'll get something really scary start to happen and then it'll cut to some dude telling you exactly what's going to happen and then cut back to the story and then it happens. It's like there's no tension. Like imagine you're watching Scream 2 and right before CC Cooper gets killed, it cuts to me and I'm just like, yeah, this scene right here where CC Cooper gets thrown off of a balcony, it's really crazy. And then CC gets stabbed and thrown off of a balcony. That just wouldn't be as exciting. That's why a lot of the tension building here just doesn't work for me and unfortunately the same can be said about this new prequel. With that being said, though, there are still some very scary moments in this movie, and I did still really enjoy it. This is maybe one of my favorite documentary-style horror films that I've seen, because it doesn't lean into it as much as other movies. It's really only a few interjections throughout. I feel like this movie would have been better if you just completely took that out entirely, but it's not as jarring as some other movies I've seen in the same subgenre. It's just not the peanut butter and chocolate combination that I think a lot of people think it could be. Almost more like tuna and Nutella. I like both of these things on their own, but coming together, I don't know about that. With that being said, though, there are a lot of positives about this movie. Like I said, this is a big step up from the previous sequels, which in my opinion, just I just couldn't get into. The three central characters in this movie, being Margot, Rebecca, and Chase, are all, yeah, generic horror characters. That being said, their performances are really well done here. You don't gotta come up with a brand new style of horror character to impress old Jake. I felt that all the relationships here felt very real. It did feel like I was watching something off of a camcorder I just found in the woods, and that's something that's so important for found footage. This movie does that. Now, with this film being a prequel, we get to flash back to the past you've already seen some of this in the trailer that we got recently for the film. I'm not as crazy about this storyline. I feel like this could have been a bigger bombshell than it ended up being. The reveal is just like, yeah, yeah okay, cool. I don't need every horror movie to have some crazy twist to it, but they were kind of building up to like this big reveal at the end throughout the whole film, and I just feel like they didn't really give us anything that was that exciting. It's just kind of backstory for an element to the Hell House, or the Abaddon Hotel if we're getting technical. The scare sequences in this movie is what I feel is the biggest improvement from the previous two Hell House movies. Like, I remember watching the first Hell House movie and just being really impressed with a lot of the jump scares. Like, it fucking hit, man. It was like, oh, that was creepy. I remember, like, not being able to sleep the first time I watched that one. I just didn't feel that way about the sequels. This movie, though, has some really well-done jump scares and a creepy atmosphere throughout because of some of its horrifying images. There are moments of this prequel that feel like we're going back to the same style of that original film. I feel like they captured a little bit of that magic here. This is, without a doubt, my favorite sequel to Hell House. I mean, listen, is this movie groundbreaking? Is it going to shatter the world of found footage? No, but it's a well-done sequel to a really good found footage flick. So if you're looking for more found footage style horror movies to watch, I think you'll really dig this one. And also if you really like documentary style horror, which like I said, I'm just not crazy about, but if that's something you're into, I could totally see people digging this one. There's one scare in particular that could have just been a jump scare, but they do it in this really like creepy way that I appreciated. It's not even necessarily like a jump. It's just an image that's horrifying. It's like, oh, I don't like that at all. Honestly, the scariest elements of the movie, and I'm very 
very excited to talk about that in my spoiler review coming out on the 30th. I really like when a found footage horror movie can do more than just jump scares. Like the creepy imagery is something that is very underrated. It's something that doesn't get talked about a lot with found footage. I think most people will say like, oh, that's just jump scare crap or whatever. I disagree with that. I like jump scares personally, but if you're someone who likes more of that creepy imagery, like the subtle horror of something like As Above, So Below or Wreck, this movie taps into a little bit of that, man. Oh, there's some really creepy, nasty images in this that kind of fucked me up a little bit. Overall, Hell House LLC Origins The Carmichael Manor is a fun haunted house-like experience, but doesn't do anything you haven't already seen this franchise do before. It has some really effective sequences and some decent characters that keep you invested throughout. I give it a 6 out of 10. Will I watch this one again? Yeah. Honestly, if I watch Hell House again at some point, I'll probably throw this one on afterwards. Would I recommend this one as well? Yeah. Honestly, I would. If you're a big fan of something like Megan is Missing, like Mungo, like those kind of horror movies, I think you'll dig this. If you're a fan of the original Hell House movie too, I think you'll also have a fun time here. I'm not saying this is better than the original. I think the original is still my favorite from this franchise, but this is still a really fun entry though. You guys can check this one out on Shudder on October 30th. Give this one a watch. It's pretty cool. Are you excited for this Hell House prequel though? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this brand new review of Hell House LLC Origins, The Carmichael Manor. Yes, that is the full title. Oh boy. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Please consider supporting me on Patreon as well by clicking the link in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.